Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas, and if your pedal's been to the metal hard last year, there's a good chance you've been pretty busy. But is that the same as making progress? How can you tell the difference? Realistically speaking, there's a chance you might be doing more and achieving less. And that can be a discouraging thought. But what are the universal metrics you can use to measure your own growth? I've been thinking about it myself, so let's go over it together. You can do now what you couldn't do before. This is, of course, the golden standard. If you're bodybuilding, you know you're progressing because if you're lifting heavier and heavier and everything is getting lighter and lighter, it's pretty much the same for every other industry and activity. If you've acquired skills and are doing things now that you had no idea you would be able to a year or even months back, then clearly you are making progress. While the last point was the metaphorical golden standard, this is more like the literal golden standard. Depending on how seriously you take what you do and why you do it, an increasing rate is a surefire sign that you're making more progress in the marketplace since value, price, and quality are pretty interconnected. Now if you're making art for a purpose other than money, very noble by the way, another similar quantifier you could use would be page views or engagement. The most interesting thing about those three altogether is that neither of them are interchangeable. I've seen a lot of rich and important people with less than a thousand Instagram followers. Likewise, I've seen some very broke and occasionally miserable social media influencers with millions of followers. So while hard currency is a personally more recommended measurement method, you could use the online metrics if the first one is not applicable. But do that with a grain of salt. Personally, I love when I start to see this happen. For example, I decided to record a new speed drawing a couple months back. It was a standard single character pinup uh, with a background that was to be determined. And by the time I had finished, my screen recording software had my time at a total of one hour and 20 something minutes. That was with no bathroom or lunch breaks. Not bad, considering that same subject used to take me about two and something hours only a year before. Not to mention, I actually messed around and experiment with different techniques and styles within that session and still made it under an hour 30. And that is progress. Here's a bonus. As you and I both know, you can't really give advice on stuff you don't know about. So when you actually start giving advice and it actually works for people, that's not just progress, it's also knowledge. Because you actually understand what you're talking about. And there's a big difference between doing something and knowing why you're doing it. Using myself as an example, when I started to refine my own art style and basically copied my favorite artists, no shame in it, I would use some techniques and effects I saw them using. When occasionally I was asked why, my answer was usually, because it looks cool. Which, while it isn't actually a bad answer, why do we do anything if it isn't cool? Was me dodging the fact I didn't understand why I was drawing, or what I was drawing. That said, eventually I learned the ins and outs of the basics and some of the more complex stuff, and, well, here I am. Making videos for your viewing pleasure. That about wraps it up for this week's video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this week's video, about this topic. Um, yeah, what are some ways you guys measure your progress personally, artistically, financially, whatever. Uh, let's get a discussion going down below in the comments and make sure you tune in next week for another episode of the For Future Reference Vlog this Sunday for a speed drawing or whatever's on my desk. I have new uploads Mondays and Fridays. So make sure you tune back in. And in the meantime, uh, you know, I think there are different ways to measure progress and these are just kind of some of the metrics I usually use. Um, there are probably better ones out there. Again, I'd like to hear from you guys. Make sure you uh, let me know what you guys use. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video and hopefully it's something you can apply to your own work and your own uh, goals and strategizing. Uh, let me know what you think again. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.